I've uh, been interested in what Earth's past climates can tell us about uh, where we're heading in the future in terms of climate change. <clears throat> and so uh, recently there have been a number of published studies on observations of surface temperature and carbon dioxide uh, going back millions of years into Earth's past. And so if you ask the question, if we stay on the path that we're on and we continue to burn fossil fuels the rate we've been burning them, then by 2100 the carbon dioxide concentration in Earth's atmosphere is going to be somewhere around a thousand parts per million. Yeah. Then the question is, well, when was the last time Earth's atmosphere had a thousand parts per million carbon dioxide in it? And what these observational records tell us is that you have to go back anywhere from 35 to 100 million years in Earth's past to see these sorts of levels of atmospheric carbon dioxide. So what I did was to use the atmospheric carbon dioxide record uh, to calculate the greenhouse effect of carbon dioxide through Earth's past, back about 35 million years. I also used the surface temperature observations and a mathematical approach to calculate the globally averaged surface temperature of Earth through uh, at 35 million years of time period ago. And using those two, the greenhouse effect and the surface temperature, you can estimate what the, uh, how sensitive the Earth's climate is to changes in carbon dioxide. And what I found from these uh, records and these, uh, using these uh, approaches is that Earth's climate on the longer time scales of say centuries to millennia is twice as large as it is on shorter time scales. So what this study really says is, one, that if we continue to burn fossil fuels at the rate that we have been burning them, then in about 90 years, by 2100, carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere will be the same as they were 35 to 100 million years ago. And two, that on these longer time scales, the response of Earth's climate to changes in greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide is much larger uh, than on the shorter time scales, a factor of two more sensitive. And three, that the rate of change uh, is unprecedented, that the change in the greenhouse of impact of increase in carbon dioxide over the next 90 years is unprecedented in Earth's uh, climate record. There's another aspect of this and a number of published modeling studies indicate that if you allow carbon dioxide to reach levels of 900 to 1,000 parts per million in the atmosphere, then the natural processes will take tens of thousands of years to remove carbon dioxide and return it to 20th century levels. So the, the conclusion of this is that if we stay on course in using fossil fuels at the rate that we have been, we're really placing the human species and the biosphere as a whole in a completely different climate regime and at an unprecedented rate.